If you are a real estate investor or you want to be a real estate investor and you need or want more funding, more money for your deals, regardless of your experience, regardless of your credit, regardless of your income, don't go anywhere because in just a moment, we're getting ready to plug you into the money to fund your deals. Well, welcome to the Jay Connor Show. I'm Jay Connor, the Private Money Authority. And I have as my co-host here on the show, Mr. Chaffee Wynn. So hello, Chaffee. Hello, Jay. Hello, everyone. <laughs> welcome back to the show, Chaffee. I tell you what, we've got a series going on here where we've been... Um, You've been on the show here with me and we're, we're talking about real estate investing, single family houses, where to get the money, which we're going to really plug people into here in just a moment, how to find deals before other real estate investors even know they exist, how to sell them fast, how to automate the business. And so anyway, what we've been doing here, folks, is we talk about real estate investing, talk about the questions that you have submitted in. And we also here on the show talk about personal development strategies, mindset strategies, because we know until you own the real estate between your ears, you can't really safely own properties, et cetera. So with that, Chavi, before we jump in and plug people into the money, let me ask you this time around, how about uh, give everybody our request and why they should do it? IE, IE on YouTube and uh, iTunes. Oh. <laughs> Sorry so, about that. So if you have not done so yet, make sure that you subscribe to this channel. If you're on iTunes, please uh, go ahead and rate and comment on this channel. We would love to hear from you. And if you are on YouTube, then give us a thumbs up if you like what you hear. And uh, also uh, put a comment down below as well. And I would also add to that, that if you have not listened to our previous episodes where Jay, you've shared some great information about how to get multiple checks and how to work with self-directed IRAs and other things, make sure you go back and listen to the previous episodes as well. Excellent. And Chaffee, I'm glad you asked everyone and encouraged them, uh, particularly watching on YouTube, in the comment section below. We love to see where everybody's tuning in from. So in the comments section below, folks on YouTube, do leave your city and state, you know, say, hey, this is Jay from, you know, Moorhead City, North Carolina. We'd love to hear where, uh, where you're tuning in from. So let's go ahead and deliver the promise. Let's go ahead and deliver the promise, Chappie, on how people can learn very, very quickly how to get uh, virtually unlimited funding for their deals. So we have waiting for everyone right now, a free, absolutely free online class on demand to where it dives deep on private money, what private money is, what private money is not. It's not hard money. It's not institutions. It's not banks. It's doing business with individuals. And so this online class, you can go to it right now after the show at www dot j connor j a y c o n n e r dot com forward slash money podcast all right money podcast j connor dot com forward slash money podcast waiting on you chaffee we've got a another free um gift for everyone that they can learn about at the end of the podcast i mean at the end of the online training Tell everybody what that is and what that's about and why they want to take advantage of it. All right. So when you go to jconnor.com forward slash money podcast and you watch that online training, you're going to get a ton of great information. And at the end of that, you're going to have an opportunity to then schedule an appointment to speak with a live success coach and have a strategy session about where you're at, what are some of your challenges and that coach is going to actually help you put together a roadmap uh, on where you should go and, and what you should be doing going forward. So uh, it's a huge value, Jay. So on behalf of ever, all of your listeners, I, I'm going to thank you for that because um, I know a lot of people that do attend online trainings don't get this opportunity. So the, the listener will then get an opportunity, like I said, to talk to with a live person and really help move their business forward or move their life forward or whatever uh, situation they're in. So Absolutely. In fact, this strategy session is valued at $297. 
And again, go to the jayconner.com forward slash money podcast and get plugged in for the free strategy session. Chaffee, if you will take just a moment and just, uh, you know, give folks, tell folks who you are and why you're qualified to be here on the show with me. And then we'll, and then we'll dive in. Yeah, just in a nutshell, Jay, I, my background is in engineering. I was a certified project manager for six years, worked in the corporate world for over 11 years as an engineer, IT business analyst, uh, senior manager or senior business analyst, and went into the real estate real estate investing world around 2002 timeframe, invested nationwide, multiple different projects. And through that, I really found my passion, which is coaching, um, helping people succeed in their business, helping people break through uh, their challenges and achieve higher levels of successes. So, and then through that process, I also met you, Jay. So. That's right. That's right. Yep. So you want to tell them a little bit about yourself? Sure, sure. In fact, you and I met about nine and a half years ago, as of this show, uh, at a real estate investing conference or seminar. And man, we hit it off right from the beginning. I mean, uh, tracks like, right? You got a servant's heart. I mean, everybody's drawn to that. And so uh, for those that are new to the show that uh, may have not tuned in before or listened, I was born here in Eastern North Carolina, raised in the mobile home or manufactured housing business. And then 15 years ago, started investing in real estate. I've done commercial projects. I've got shopping centers, rehab now in single family houses, almost right now, 400 houses and counting. But I, I started out using local banks money for funding. And I was cut off with no notice about nine years. I mean, uh, seven years ago. And so I learned about private money. And ever since that time, I've never missed out on a deal because we didn't have the money. Therefore, I became known across the nation as the private money authority, training, teaching and motivating other real estate investors on how to get funding for their deals. So, Chaffee, what are we going to talk about on this show? Well, Jay, you know, when I'm uh, sitting down with a student or one of your live events and we're having a strategy session and we're talking, one of the biggest questions that I uh, hear from these students, first of all, they say is that, all my friends are broke and have no money. So where do I go? How do I find this private money or how to find a private lender? Because everyone I hang around has nothing. So that's what we want to talk about today is uh, okay. how, do, how do I find these private lenders that I hear so much about? And uh, right. you know, if all sure. my friends and family have no money, where should I go and what should I do? <laughs> sure. I got it. I got it. I've heard it too. So here are the primary categories. Well, I tell you what. Just to be clear, private money. We're not talking about hard money, hard money brokers or lenders. We're talking about doing business with individuals just like you or me. And I'm a private lender myself. I do both sides of the business. I lend out private money from my retirement funds. And of course, I borrow a lot of private money. Right now, Carol Joy and I have got 47 private lenders, you know. And my lands, folks, no, you don't need 47 private lenders. You know, I started out with one. My first private lender had $250,000 to work with. So I started with the $250,000. But here are the primary categories, Chaffee, for finding private money. Actually, not everybody that you know is broke <laughs> <laughs> and, doesn't have, and doesn't have any money. In fact, in fact, you know, this right here, let me get it. This right here, your cell phone, right? Oh, there's a picture of Carol Joy's three red Cadillacs. Anyway, your cell phone, right? All the contacts in your cell phone are potential private lenders. If they're not a potential private lender, I want to know who do they know that could be a potential private lender. And so the first Jay, that that brings up a good point. I'm going to interrupt real quick and and just um, you know remind you of one of your students at your live event who. You know, and it just say that you never want to assume that somebody doesn't have any money, right? Because uh, at one of your private you events, by, you sure can't tell by looking at them, right? At, at one of your private events, the uh, the student actually talked to one of his tenants at one of his rental properties, and it was an old lady, and she ended up having, I think it was like one hundred fifty thousand in a in a retirement account, and she ended up his rental, <laughs> you know, person 
became a private lender for him. So he, yeah. he had assumed she had no money because she was renting a house from him. And right. sure, lo and behold, you know, she had over $100,000 that he was able to use. Well, you know, as I have discovered since using private money myself, for nine and a half years, teaching private money now for seven years. What I've discovered is, first of all, as we just mentioned, you cannot judge the book by its cover. I mean, you can have somebody that looks like they are loaded with millions and they're like, you know, wondering where the next, you know, money's going to come from for the mortgage payment, you know, because they've leveraged everything they've got. They've got the nice cars, they've got the nice clothes, but they're, but they're cash poor. Or, you got the person that doesn't look like they can rub two pennies together, you know, and they're loaded. I mean, just recently, let me share this, this story before I answer your question. <laughs> but I have a new private lender. Okay. That was actually referred to me by another one of my other private lenders that's been funding our deals for, I don't know, three years or whatever. And so he referred this private lender to me over the phone. There was actually more than one lesson from this story. First lesson is from the time I met this person over the phone, okay, until they pledged $300,000 for me to go find deals and put their money to work was less than 15 minutes, less than 15 minutes. That's the power of referrals, of course. But then I talked with this guy over the phone, you know, and then I met him in person. Okay. So my wife, Carol Joyce from Texas. So one of my private lenders, of course, is in Texas. And now this private lender referred me to this person that I'm talking about. Okay. About a month, maybe three weeks after this person had, you know, pledged their $300,000 and, you know, we're doing business. I'm out in Texas and I meet this guy that I've never met before. Let me tell you something. If somebody had told me he had $300,000 just sitting in the bank that he didn't know what to do with, I would have been shocked. <laughs> but that's just, that's just, you can't judge the book by its cover. You just don't know. Anyway, so back to your question. Here are the primary categories of people, individuals that have private money or you can borrow private money from. Individuals that just have cash, okay, investment capital, all right? People that have retirement funds, okay? And in fact, in a couple of episodes ago, we, we dove deep, or we dove for 20 minutes anyway into self-directed IRAs and using retirement accounts. So there, there are people in your, what I call warm market, or people that you know, or people that you know and who they know. And of course, in the, in the training that we just gave out, the free training at the beginning of the show, jconnor.com forward slash money podcast, I go into these five steps of locating these people. So right here on the show, we can at least get the 30,000 foot view. That's the first category. Second category is existing private lenders. Okay. Now, I'm not talking banks and institutions and mortgage companies, but existing private lenders. The next category, okay, just, to just to clarify, the, the existing, existing private, private lenders, lenders are people who, who are currently or in the past have lended money before, right? Yes. So, yeah. So they're familiar with the process already. They're familiar with the process. Exactly. Okay. They know what private money is. And again, they're not hard money lenders. They're individuals like us. The, and, and I'll come back and talk about these categories for each of these categories for a moment. The third category are people that would love to be a private lender. They don't know what private money is and they don't know you yet. All right. So people, you know, existing private lenders, people you don't know that you're going to meet that would love to be a private lender. So let's talk about each one. Okay. So first you warm market people, you know, well, first, you know, I tell my students across the nation, uh, newbies and seasoned real estate investors, you know a lot more people than you think you know, really. And so actually, and of course, you know, Chad, because you're at all my live events, we actually have all the students sit down and go through an exercise of identifying their top 100 potential private lenders. And as you know, Chad, this takes less than 30 minutes, right? Less than 30 minutes to identify them. 
And so then those people, we have the tools, we have the strategies, we have recordings that we can send out to them to introduce them to what this world of private money is. And then, of course, that leads to a one on one explaining the program and then just getting verbal pledges. And I tell you, you know, I want to emphasize this to our listeners and viewers. In this world of private money, at least my world of private money, there's no chasing. There's no begging. There's no trying to talk anybody into anything. It's simply making the program available. And, and in fact, on the uh, on the online class, I go into the program in, in detail. OK, so folks, you can learn about the program on the online class. And so you got those people, but then you've got existing private lenders. Now, when I started out nine years ago, I did it the hard way. OK, I hired my real estate attorneys paralegal to search our local public records in our in my county where I live. And I had the paralegal looking for uh, researching deeds of trust. There are deeds of trust here in North Carolina. Most people call them a mortgage. OK, so I had the paralegal searching the mortgages, looking for individuals names that were loaning or had loaned money out to another individual secured by real estate. So I didn't want any you know, institutions, I didn't want any banks, didn't want any companies. I wanted individual, not LLCs. I wanted individual names, loaning money out to other individuals secured by real estate. And I didn't want any owner finance deals. All right. So, you know, if, if an owner of a house sells their house to a buyer and does it with owner financing or seller financing, takes back a note, and transfers the deed. Well, that's not a potential private lender or, or private lender. That's just somebody selling their house, you know, with seller financing. So I, I didn't want any of those. So like the first 90 days that the paralegal was doing this, I'm coming up with like two names, you know, I'm going, it's got to be a faster, easier way. So you can find existing private lenders. I mean, they're in public records, you know, but I said, there's got to be a quicker way. And so about seven years ago, I developed what's called my private lender data feed, which is sophisticated software that is that goes out and, and, and searches all public records throughout the entire United States. And we do it once a month. And so in the data feed, it's done automatically and with technology. And so all my students, of course, have access to the data feed. When people chaffy go view the online class, I talk in detail about the data feed of locating exist existing private lenders. You get their contact information, got it all automated as to how you can contact them. So existing private lenders. And then finally, Chaffee, it was that clear? Are we good on those first two? Are we good on the first two? Yeah, so yes. students start working with you. You'll actually show them how to contact these existing private lenders, where to find them, how to contact them, what to say, all that kind of stuff as well, correct? Exactly. Exactly. And then finally, the, the, the last category I mentioned a moment ago are people that want to be a private lender with you. They just don't know it yet. And they don't know you yet. So what is that category? Well, we really teach at the live events in detail how to become an excellent networker because the better networker that you are and becoming involved in the local community, becoming involved in, for example, Rotary Club, civic organizations, uh, networking clubs, etc. then most of the time people that are involved in those types of organizations, I mean, you know, the, the church that you're in, of course, that's already your warm market. But those people are typically the movers and shakers in the community. And when you start learning how to network and become involved in these groups and be a server, you see, we don't join these groups to go get private money. Okay. We go there to serve. We go there to volunteer. And as you and I have talked about in previous shows, Chabby, when we serve and we give value to other people with no strings attached, we don't have to worry about us, you know, the right. law, 
The law of reciprocity plays all into that. And Chaffee, I know you're a, you're a fantastic networker. So, you know, that's the third category, but comment on the networking. Yeah, you know, it's one of those that you start building relationships. I hold network meetings here in Chicago where I'm at. And, you know, people like to do business with people they know, like, and trust. And so, as you said, you don't go there asking for private money. You go there to serve. You go there to build relationships. And what you find is that when people get to know you, who you are, what you're all about, then they're going to ask you what you do and want to start working with you. So at your live events, you, you tell everybody that this is that you never have once asked for money. That's right? correct. That's you correct. Don't ask for money. You just you know, like people ask you, you tell them what they do, and then you give them the option whether to work with you or not, because they're the ones asking you. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, we teach uh, at the live events and, and perhaps we can cover it in an upcoming show. But, you know, how is it that we can actually go about attracting, attracting the funding without doing any asking? But, yeah, that's exactly right. We're about to the end of this show, Chaffee, but any kind of recap you want to put on what we just went over on where to find these private lenders before we get into our mindset and personal development piece? Yeah. So just to recap real quick, the first and foremost is just never assume, right? Just never assume by looks or anything like that. Just, you know, be willing to share what you're doing with other people uh, without having to ask or chase people down. Right. So that's your warm market. Share uh, sharing what you do. Secondly, like you said, I believe it was uh, existing private lenders. Right. And then the third one is going out there and building your warm market by networking, by getting out there and, and providing value and joining different community groups, uh, social groups, service groups, and even chambers of commerce, I believe, uh, is another great uh, place to go to as well. So. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, Chappie, as we wrap it up, well, you know, we always give a, um, a tip or a strategy to folks as to how they can help grow, you know, self-improvement, personal development, mindset. And I know on the last show we did it, and uh, let's do it just one more time. We'll change it up on the next show. But, uh, you know, we've been exchanging with everybody the books that have really, you know, had a big impact uh, on our personal lives. Mm -hmm. So let's do, that. let's do that one more time to uh, wrap this show up. So, Chavi, how about share one more book that uh, you haven't mentioned in previous episodes and shows that really resonated with you and for whatever reason, just really, you know, made a big impact on you. So this book, I think, is one that uh, not a lot of people have heard about. And it's it's had a huge impact uh, on the way I do my business, the way I live my life. And the title of the book is called The Art of Deliberate Intent. So The Art of Deliberate Intent. And the author is uh, Abraham Hicks. So it's uh, Esther Hicks. And uh, so Abraham Hicks is the author, The Art of Deliberate Intent. And it really talks about living life on purpose. Instead of going through a daily program or a daily routine or being programmed to do this or do that, most people wake up in the morning, go to work, come home, eat dinner, and then spend a couple hours watching TV and start the process over again. The art of deliberate intent is really being deliberate and, and attracting the life that you want, following what you're passionate about and living that life versus letting life happen. So that road book has really had a huge impact on me. Um, like I said, I don't think a lot of people have heard about it, and it really uh, pulls into the law of attraction and a lot of, again, living life on purpose. And I think too few people do that because we're programmed at a very young age of what we should do and how we should do it, and and we're stuck in that rut until you start hanging around people like you and I, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> and then well, we, we hope you break out of that rut. <laughs> We do have a good time. And I tell you what, Chaffee, my passion is the same as yours. Yeah. And that is making huge differences in people's lives. And of course, you and I see it time and time again at the live events. I tell you, Chaffee, I probably have shared this with you because I really, I really soaked this book up and just learned about it about, about six months ago, about six and a half months ago. And you we talk about serving volunteering, giving with, with, with no conditions. And I just learned about this little book. It's really a parable about six months and it's called the go giver, the go giver. And in fact, the author, 
I just had to look it up because I'd forgotten the author's name, but I do not forget the, the, uh, the name of the book, but the go giver, in fact, it's a, um, it's a little red book. Looks like that. If I can put it up there, go giver by, uh, Bob Berg and John David, uh, John David Mann, I believe. Anyway, the subtitle is a little story about a powerful business idea. And I tell you, every person that I have told about this book that has read it has had an impact on them. You know, we hear about go-getters, all right? You know, the, the, the A-type personalities, you know, the chargers, you know, we got to go crush it, you know, you know. And so this is a play on words. So this book is for go-getters, but it's really about being, in, instead of a go-getter, a go-giver. And it's a parable, and I'm not going to say any more about the book. I'm not going to say any more about the book, other than it's, it does not take long to read it. And I promise you, it will change your life. Parting comments on this show, Chaffee. Yes, to change it up a little bit, I normally say, go ahead and make sure you subscribe, comment, and rate below. <laughs> I'm going to add one thing to that, though, which is that uh, thank you for listening on to the show. And make sure that you take action and really go out go into the online training, sign up for the strategy session and really start moving forward with your life. As I said with the book earlier, the art of deliberate intent, instead of just listening to us and then going back to your daily life, listen to us and then take the next step forward, which is go to the training, get the live strategy session and move forward and, you know, start taking action towards moving forward. You know, Chavi, I'm so glad you said that because what I have observed over the years is that sometimes people think that by listening to a podcast or, you know, watching something on YouTube, that they are taking action on their real estate investing that they're interested in. And yes, this is some action, but this isn't where the action takes place. You got to move forward. You got to move to the next step because if this is it, there's no deal after this. <laughs> you know, we got 20 minutes together here on a show. So anyway, move forward, take action. Chaffee, thank you so much for joining me for one more episode and show here of the Jay Connor Show. And everyone that's tuned in here, either on YouTube or uh, iTunes or has heard about us here in any, any other kind of way, we thank you for taking the time to share an important part of your life with us. And until the next show, here's wishing you all the best and taking your business to the next level. Bye for now.